The next thing we're going to use Google Earth for is to use it to identify something called aspect of a slope. So aspect of a slope can be a little confusing, but it is a useful skill to uh, be able to identify which way that a slope is facing. Is it facing north, south, east, south, west, etc.? Why might, might you ask, uh, is this relevant? Uh, it's relevant for things such as uh, vegetation patterns. So let's have a look. Uh, you'll need to be able to identify aspect of a slope on a topographic map. So in this case, we don't have a topographic map, but we have Google Earth. So using the uh, New South Wales Globe KML layer, we can add the contour overlay to our satellite imagery. So let's, down here in the bottom left, click on contour. Okay, so now we have our contour lines identifying the topographic features of our landscape. In this case, Jolly Nose, which is south of Port Macquarie. So aspect of a slope. We first of all need to look at the topographical characteristics of this landscape. So we can see that these little, uh, these little circles represent the highest points in that particular area. So let's take this example just here. So it's between 200 and 210 metres. So one thing that we need to do when we're trying to identify aspect of a slope is we need to look at our contour lines, look at which way they are decreasing in value so that we can identify the slope. So we can see, so if for example we want to identify the slope of where my cursor is at the moment, we have to look, okay, so that from about 200 down to around about 80 meters and that keeps decreasing in value. So one thing we can do to identify aspect of a slope is create or draw a line. So in this case we can add a path. Let's move this box to the side. Let's click uh, to the, at the top. Now with your line it needs to intersect these contour lines at parallel. So our slope starts to flatten out about here, so let's uh, draw our line there. So let's just press OK. So now we can identify uh, the slope. We've got our line which uh, intersects those contour lines at parallel. And now if we our map is orientated, so we can see that north is vertically up and obviously never eat soggy wheat bix the aspect of our slope, so about here, it has an easterly aspect. Now, another way we can look at aspect is we can use the sunrise sunset feature uh, and show sunlight across the landscape. So when we click that on, we can look at this landscape at 8.58pm at night. So let's slide that back to uh, a different time period. Let's look at the late afternoon. So the sun sets in the west, so our westerly facing uh, slopes, slopes with westerly aspects, will still have sun on them. Now it's a bit difficult to see that far zoomed out, but we can see these slopes here. Now I said before that this slope identified about here where my cursor is, so this part of the hill, most likely has an easterly aspect. Another way that we can, I guess, uh, check our uh, calculations or our interpretations of the map is that we can slide this bar to represent morning so we know that the sun rises in the east. So if we go back to roughly, where are we? let's go to morning. So sun's rising. Now, at 7.04am, our sun should be rising in the east over the ocean. We can see that our slope here, the hill, is obviously well lit, uh, which suggests that it has an easterly aspect. It's getting the morning sun. So, if anything, it may be an easterly to south-southeasterly or east-southeasterly aspect. 